Hello, Jim McElvain with Optima Batteries in my garage with a Group 25 Red Top and our new H6 Yellow Top battery. We get a lot of questions and we get a lot of feedback from people who say batteries have changed. Something's changed with batteries over the years. Well, yeah, some batteries have changed to some degree, but usually they're insinuating there's been a decline in quality in some way. But let me tell you what's really going on. There's been a change in the way vehicles are made. That shouldn't come to a surprise to anybody, but when I explain it to people in, in this perspective, it often kind of is a wake-up call. Now, this battery right here is a Group 25. This same size battery, 7525, is a 33-pound battery, okay? It has 720 cold cranking amps, and it's a 44-amp-hour battery. This battery, our H6, is a 55-pound battery, or 54, 55 pounds. It has 800 cold cranking amps and 72 amp hours of reserve capacity. So a much larger, I think it was it like 18, 20, 25 percent larger, physically heavier battery, far more reserve capacity. When you're looking at 44 to 72 amp hours, that's almost double. Okay. This is the replacement battery if you own a 94 GMC one ton with a 7.4 liter big block 454. This is the battery the auto manufacturer tells you to get. If you own a 2015 Mini Cooper with a 1.5 liter pea shooter engine, this is the battery Mini tells you to get. So why does Mini say, you need the 55 pound battery, the, the battery with more cranking amps and way more reserve capacity than that big 454 needs? Well, the answer is pretty simple. As vehicles have gotten newer, they've added more features. They have OnStar, they have satellite-based systems, they have Wi-Fi sometimes, they have all kinds of presets. They have radio presets, seat presets, all kinds of doodads and gizmos that make the batteries work harder when the vehicle's not running. So there's a higher key offload. They have to keep all that stuff maintained and ready to go. The same way when you're in the basement of a parking ramp, your cell phone battery runs down faster as it's searching for a signal. Your vehicle does the same thing when it's in a garage versus sitting out in the open. So newer vehicles have physically larger batteries, okay? Again, for those who didn't catch it earlier, this little battery here is what's recommended for a 7.4 liter big block engine. This one right here is what's recommended for a 1.5 liter engine, all right? This is my wife's Z3 BMW. Itty bitty car, it doesn't take this red top, it takes this big one. It takes the H6. And again, that little convertible sits for long periods of time. BMW knows that. They know a lot of their vehicles sit for long periods of time, as do all the auto manufacturers. What they also know is if they put a small battery in there and it sits for four weeks or six weeks, it's going to completely discharge that battery, it won't be able to start the car. So their answer is to spend more money, which they don't like to do unless they have to. They put a physically larger battery into the vehicle to make sure that when it's deeply discharged, to, it'll still have enough current to start the engine. Now, once that happens, the vehicle's charging system is going to get put to work. The alternator is going to get beat up pretty badly, but the auto manufacturers are betting that the alternator will not fail on that vehicle until after it's out of warranty. So all they want to do is get you out of warranty. What I have to recommend more strongly than anything else is that you properly maintain your battery. If, if it's a vehicle that you don't drive very often, or if you do drive it and you don't drive it very far when you're driving, maybe you have a five or 10 minute commute, plug it in once a month, charge it, top it off. I'm recording this in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. And this is, I don't know, April 22nd. So it's coming up on two months since we've basically been hanging out at the house a lot of people are in that range. They've been sitting idle mostly for six or eight weeks, maybe using their car every other week to go get some groceries. Their batteries are getting deeply discharged, okay? No one knows what's going to happen when you ask 280 million car owners to park their cars for six or eight weeks and drive them as little as possible. And then you open up the country and turn them back on and ask them to go back to work. We can tell you as an enthusiast brand that has a lot of vehicles, whether they're RVs or boats or hot rods, that sit all, all winter long and then come back out in the summertime, there's a lot of people in the spring who come looking for warranty replacements. They come looking for replacement batteries because they didn't charge or maintain their batteries during the winter months. So I would strongly encourage you, do as I'm doing right here. This is my wife's 
Z3, it's been sitting for who knows how long. It, that's the Optima Digital 400 Charger and Maintainer, $89.99 at OptimaBatteries.com. It doesn't have to be that one. That's as good a one as you'll find, but it doesn't have to be that one. Get a quality microprocessor controlled charger or maintainer of some kind and top your battery off. Keep it charged up, keep it ready to go. Even if you're not in the middle of a pandemic, if your vehicle doesn't see regular use, or even if it does, and you don't have to do it every night, but maybe once a month for a vehicle with regular use, just top it off because you don't know, you maybe had the minivan at the uh, soccer field and the other kid wasn't at practice and they were watching videos in the car for an hour and a half and drain the battery. That's beating up your alternator. Save your alternator, okay? Save your battery. Save yourself a lot of headaches. Use a charger or a maintainer. That's our digital 1200. Retails for $199.99 as of April 22nd, whatever, 2020. Um, if you buy a new battery from us like this one and this digital 1200 at the same time, we'll extend your warranty by a year at OptumBatteries.com because this thing works so well, we know it will maximize the performance and extend the lifespan of your battery. So please, please understand, vehicles have changed over the years. Battery manufacturers, as far as I know, um, they've done everything they can to make their products better, but it's, it's a tough battle they have. Uh, trying to keep up with all the demands of modern vehicles. And if you've bought a car within the last 10 years, there's a good chance you have a pretty significant, significant parasitic draw coming out of your vehicle, and that's, that's drawing your battery down. So please, pandemic or not, keep your batteries properly charged and maintained. OptimaBatteries.com is the website that has all this information and more. Thank you so much.